Today I have my very first wig review and I am so excited because I love this bitch. She's so cute. But yeah, I don't really know like if what I should call it, like if I don't use like personification, I will disrespect the wig and the wig will give me hell. So before I go into detail on this beautiful unit, I'm going to talk a bit about the company where I got the wig from. The wig is from divatress.com and I've heard so many good reviews on the company. Um, they have super fast shipping, customer service is really bomb. It's a really easy site to navigate. I ran into a few problems with the order, but after calling the company and communicating with the company, they got the problem fixed and shipped the hair the next day after I called them. It's just a really cool company and a really good company like overall. And one thing I really liked about this site is that when I compared the prices, the prices were actually a bit lower on Diva Tress than on other sites so yeah so her name is breezy and she's a model model lace part wig there's three options to part her this is the middle part and this is how she came but um there's one to the right that's right there and there's one to the left as well i haven't really tried out the whole three part thing because if i get something and it's like a middle part, I usually just slide it to the side. I think I would say she's either 16 or 18 inches long at the longest. At the shortest, she's about eight inches. This unit came with um, layering. Um, it has like a bang thing that um, I wasn't really feeling and it was really long at first, but I kind of like chopped it down. She's a color four. I know she's coming off as a 1B right now. It has lace um, about two inches. Um, that's where the lace stops. Breezy comes with two combs in the front and one comb in the back. I don't use the combs because no matter what anybody says, the combs on wigs do like thin your hair out really bad so I don't recommend using the combs I recommend um, you know placing the little strap bands a little tighter that come on the back and using bobby pins but um, breezy is actually a well sized fit and it actually fits my humongous weird shaped head quite nice so I'm actually not using any of the clips or any bobby pins or anything at all. I wanted something that looked like really mod and like really classy. It was like really easy to like play with and I really wanted a uh, side part that was like super like deep like that covered my whole entire eye. The hair is really soft. It is a bit shiny but regardless of the shine she does look super duper natural. That's how she looks which is um which is pretty good for a synthetic wig that was under $50. She does shed a bit. Um, when I first took her out of the package and began to like play with her I expected her to um, shed a bit more than she actually did. I love her. I'm gonna see how long I can rock with her. Hopefully at least a month. Hopefully at least a month. So I hope you guys enjoyed my review. I also had a tutorial on this makeup look that I did today because it is actually inspired by the Victoria's Secret fashion show that just went on. So my last 2014 goal that I hadn't reached was to reach um, 5,000 subscribers here on my YouTube. I am so close. I need about 200, maybe 300 more. So I really appreciate it if you guys subscribe to my channel and share if you like. Don't forget to um, follow me on like my social media platforms. It'll be like they'll be linked down below because um, with my schedule and me being a college student, I don't have a specific time and day that I can um, upload. You'll get updates and you'll see like what's going on in my life and you can like actually talk to me like.